Hey guys. Hello YouTube. Hello. So, Kenneth is washing dishes. Yeah, Cindy told me I have to. Yep, I did. That's okay, we'll do something fun when you're done. You better. And we have a couple errands to run today. I'm making lunch. I'm going to have coconut shrimp. Coconut shrimp! It's going to be delicious. Coconut, this little guy's coconut, awake. Coconut, 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 yeah. Coconut, coconut, coconut. Kenneth is doing the coconut shrimp dance. Do you even like coconut shrimp? I don't like shrimp at all. You don't like shrimp at all? Uh, but you have a dance? I have a dance for coconut. But the shrimp is the coconut. So I don't get none of it, but... Oh, okay. Is the sauce done already? No, no, I ran it under hot water for a while. It feels warm. Anyway, so yeah, we're having lunch. Getting chores done. Hanging out with the little guy. We're gonna go out and do stuff. It's cold today. Like it was hailing earlier, and now it looks like it's just raining. No, it's still kind of hailing. Huh? I don't know. We'll see if we can show you guys. It's uh, bouncing on that uh, pallet out there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's weird weather. And it's cold. It's a climate change, I tell you. It's global warming. <laughs> global warming. We'll just blame Obama. Not Obama's fault. George Bush left him with this. Oh, George Bush's fault? Yeah. Okay. It's the president's fault. One of them. Nothing. Nothing? No. Okay. So you just in my face for no particular reason? The penguin made me do it. The penguin made me do it. You can't use the excuse. You don't have the shirt. How's the penguin army coming? The penguin army was put on hold. You know this. I've told you about this. But you haven't told YouTube. Why do I need to tell YouTube about my Penguin Army? Okay. Penguin Army. Financial inabilities to get it going have caused it to basically crash. And we, we actually we we couldn't even get the startup money. Nobody supported it. Everybody thought it was just a big joke. I know it could be possible, but they don't want to fund it. I don't know why. It worked on Batman. He just didn't train his penguins right. So once his little beacon thing shut down, they all were like, what are we doing? You gotta train the penguins to do what you want them to, not just put a little beacon in their head to make them do what you want them to. It's like training dolphins. They put billions of dollars into training dolphins and into training whales, but they wouldn't fund me to train penguins to take over the world. Really don't understand why. <laughs> the onions are dead. I didn't mean to emotionally attach to them. It made me cry. I'm so sad. It is. I'm so sad about the onions. I am. I'm devastated. It's a good thing they're going to taste delicious because otherwise it has been pointless. Killing more onions. Different type of onions, but yes. <laughs> and why am I doing this? Why? For dinner. I can't believe that vegetarians kill so many. I know. Defenseless plants. So many defenseless 
plant or killed every year by vegetarians. So much food that could be eaten by those helpless animals that they claim need our help. But they eat their food and then that forces me to have to eat the animals. Because if they don't have enough food, then how would they survive? This is what happens when you have a vegetarian dinner. in his eyes. <laughs> so it's like 38 degrees outside and we're getting frozen yogurt. How we roll? We're those people. Yeah, those people. Hey. Yum. What do you got? I have vanilla, and then I have mango sorbet with Swedish fish, because I wanted Swedish fish. Yeah, that's kind of why I got the gummy bears. I just wanted the gummy bears. But I got raspberries and mango sorbet with coconut. We just want to strap back in back into the car seat. And so I'm walking to the health food store. Is it a health food store? I don't know. It's a grocery store. They sell a lot of organic stuff. They have excellent prices on produce. It's called Lucky. But anyway, we didn't want to put Beckett back in his car seat. So I have the stroller, and we're walking. And Kenneth is going to go park the car closer so that we don't have to walk all the way back when we're done. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. Look at this little guy. Look at him. It is seriously really cold out. And the sad thing is, is it's not that cold yet. Like, it's going to get a lot colder here. Oh. Yeah. I need to move somewhere warm. Sounds like a good plan. Somewhere warm. Oh, we need, we need that one for you. Why not? It's not heavy. Apparently with a Barack Obama mask on, I, I need to get punched in the face. Oh, so in Lucky's, this guy came up to me, and he asked me how old Beckett was. And then he just started telling me about his three kids. And he's like, yeah, they really stress me out, but it's a good kind of stress. And I was like, um... I don't know you. Okay. <laughs> Like, is that the kind of thing that happens when you're a parent? People just come up to you and tell you about their kids? I don't know. It was kind of weird. The clanky monkey salad tongs. How obnoxious awesome is that? You say awesome, I say obnoxious. It's a carrot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's an axe. Mm -hmm. What you doing, kiddo? Mm, guitar spoon. <laughs> That's so funny. Turkey thermometer. Oh, they're gummy worm straws. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh, Mr. Man. We tired of being in this thing? What? <laughs> we got goo ball over our snow. <laughs> What? I'm not sure. Oh, push pins. Oh, it's a it's a sword, but they're push pins. Okay, that's goofy. Mustache hangers. That's pretty sweet.
bacon bowl. Everything tastes better in a bacon bowl. Wow. Nancat. Nantastic towel. I don't even know. It does. That is freaking hilarious. It is not that hilarious, so. Oh. Little Miss Giggles. Little Miss Scary. These are the. These are good stuff. Ten little dinosaurs. It's kind of cool because it has these weird little eyes. But the book itself is kind of okay, I guess. Not great. Not my favorite. These are all little kid books, though. My favorite books. These are ones I like to read because I can understand them. Not like the big people books. I don't understand big people books a little much. Big people books confuse me. Use big words. They're just kind of dumb sometimes, actually. I'm trying to find a good one. Love You Forever. That's actually a pretty good book. We have that one already, though. So, I don't know. Let's see what I can find. So Beckett is in love with this bottle of gel. I don't know how you can see in the poor lighting in here, but it's bright green gel with a colored bottle. Yeah, he smiles at the gel bottle and he coos at it. And it's definitely the gel bottle. Like, if you pick up the gel bottle and move it, he follows it. Yeah. Yeah, him and this bottle of gel are best buds. So, end of the day on Thursday, uh, kind of didn't really do a whole lot today. We did go to get some yogurt, and we went to the grocery store, and the bookstore, and we looked at some stuff, and yeah, which is pretty much what you should have seen in this video, or vlog. Anyway, I'm supposed to end it for the day. So, we are signing off. Little man is starting to freak out. And so I will end with goodbye. Like our video. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And have a great day. Signing off. Goodbye.